Um, hello once again. Uh, welcome back to the Geometric Gold Design Series. Um, I hope you, uh, you guys enjoyed and found the first episode uh, informative and helpful um, for your project. Uh, so we did cover creating the surface, which is this baby right here and showing you how you can then represent it in different ways and different how to show different components like your elevation your contour lines your triangulation and the legs and then how to analyze those components and tabulate them and generate tables uh, within civil 3d this episode uh, we're gonna cover our horizontal alignment uh, I do believe that uh, your lecture has given you uh, the design criteria for your project. So for for the purposes of this um, series, I am going to be uh, using those so that you then know what to do in which section. So yeah, we're going to start with our alignment so we have two types of alignment we have our horizontal and our vertical so for this episode we're just going to focus on strictly um horizontal vertical we will do um in conjunction as time goes and then i'll then show you then the whole cross sections and the lights so for today or for this episode rather we are going to touch on strictly horizontal alignment okay i am gonna switch um geolocation on for this one uh because i want to use the reference um the reference code that's in that sits within this surface i did show you how to switch this on the previous episode but i am gonna explain it again if you didn't catch it so provided that you have changed your geographical settings uh, in your drawing settings so settings you right click here and then you go to your edit drawing settings and then you add the uh, location now to actually show it you're gonna see there's this bluish uh, option that says your location you click on that you're gonna go to online map i click on the drop down and let's use map aerial for today and this is what we have so we are going to use this as a reference i believe your project involves the road improvement of this this so uh, for today i'm going to show you i'm going to just replicate the whole road but on your end for your project you need to do some sort of improvements uh, with this road so how do you go about our horizontal alignment very simple what you do so just make sure you're on home if you're not just click on it and then under your create design you're gonna go to alignment so you're gonna click on alignment and then you're gonna click on the first option that says alignment creation tools you'll click on that so once you've done that you'll see that uh the create alignment drop um pop up will appear so alignment and uh, name you can give it a name i'm just gonna say sandy's road to success bit corny but why not add some spice for today uh so type you are gonna be using center lines so you should leave this as is and then uh general so site you can leave and then alignment style we, we will leave that as proposed and then under your alignment label set you'll see when you drop down you'll see there's a lot of um options here so there's no labels meaning you won't show anything and then all labels all labels for uh, alignment entails your changes your beginning of curves your midpoint of curves your end of curves your design speeds and all those so yeah and below that is just those key bits so major and minor are your changes 
major minor and geometric points is your beginning so it's change plus beginning and end of curves and from then on it's all the other extra bits so we are gonna leave it at all labels for now and then under design criteria you will see it talks about your starting design speed you were given the value for this so i'm gonna input it here uh it has i believe 110 kilometers per hour okay so once you have input once you've put that in uh you can then uh click on okay down here yeah click on okay and now what will happen is this box right here will appear so this is your layout design tools now this is the way then you're gonna now start drawing out this is the tool that will help you to draw out your alignment so you're gonna go to the very first icon here which says draw tangent tangent without curve so if you click on the drop down here you'll notice it talks about tangent tangent with curve with no curves tangent tangent with curves and right here at the bottom it talks about curve and spiral settings so you are going to click on this because there are some properties you need to change so under type you'll see it says clothoid uh, there is no need to change this you can leave as is and then your spiral in spiral out values you can leave those out as well and then your curve so you were given a minimum uh i believe you're given a minimum curve radius uh yeah you're given a minimum curve radius of 530 so i'm just gonna put that 530 for now there are some workings that you guys might need to do um to get uh, an appropriate um horizontal curve so i'm gonna use the standard 530 for this episode i'm gonna click on okay and then what will happen is once you're done changing that you're gonna go back to that first icon you click on the drop down then you want curves for your road so we're gonna draw tangent tangent with curves now as you've done that you'll see it says specify start point so i'm going to start maybe let's say here i'm gonna start here so like I said, I'm going to more or less replicate the road in itself. You might need to design your, you need to design your own. Uh, so I'm just going to, so every click you make, you'll see that it starts to then generate a curve. So if you zoom in here quickly, you'll see there's like a tiny little curve here. It's not visible, but you can see that it's there. And then let's continue drawing. So if I then click here you see that's a more visible curve and then we're just gonna carry on like so uh, I'll try and be a bit fast uh, click here click here okay I am gonna stop here for now uh, but I hope you guys get the idea so I'm gonna press enter once you've pressed enter you'll see that there are these little red um, labels running around. So I'm gonna exit here. So you can exit when you're done. And what happens here, these red icons, those are your labels. So you'll see it shows your change stations. Here at the beginning where we started, so it shows your design speed. Design speed equals to 110. And then this is your starting point. This is station zero so as you go along if you go to our first curve here you'll see it shows your pc which is your beginning of curve mid so it's the middle of the curve and then pt which is the end of that curve and the same procedure applies so beginning of curve again for the next one uh midpoint and it's the same thing throughout until uh the very end so this is the last point so the very very last point of your horizontal alignment and yeah so funny enough just like that this is your 
horizontal alignment. Now, what will happen is, um, I think what I'm going to do now, I see that this is very little for this episode. I am going to do another road, maybe let's say one intersecting, one intersecting this one. So what I am going to do is actually show you another method of drawing your alignment. So I'm going to use a polyline in this instance. And then I'm going to start, let's say I'm going to start here. I'm going to start right at the border. So I want my road to then cross this point right here, the end point. We'll do that. And then... Okay, I'll stop it here for now. So I'll click there, and then I'll, I'll press enter, just just so we don't have too many lines going on. And then I'm gonna have another one. I'm gonna have this road expand. So I wanna expand this road. Uh, so this is the extension uh, snapping feature, which you can play around with down here. There's these two boxes, you can switch this on. And yeah, just switch on stuff like, like extension and the likes to um, work around your lines in this manner. It makes things easier and seamless. Now, you can actually generate an alignment from a standard line. So how you do that is you're going to click on that line. You go to alignment and then you're going to say alignment from object. Now this method actually helps out a lot, especially if you're unsure of how you want your improvement to look like. So you can start off with polylines. So what you can do is you can draw tangents. So if I actually proceed, we can do something like this. You can draw out your road like so. And then if I were to change, so if you were to go to alignment and then alignment from objects, if I were to select this line, and then you press enter and you'll see it shows you an arrow. Now this is the direction that the changes or the values will go in. You can change the direction. So I'm gonna do that and say reverse. And then, okay, you can give it a name and then your site, you can leave as is. You can change labels. I wanna put the labels back on for this one. So you can see what's happening. And then under conversion options, you see that we have tangents here, so we want to add curves. Now, I'm going to put that very same 530 that was in the um, specifications. And then erase existing entities. You can do that and press OK once you're done. OK, give me a second. There we go. So it has generated an alignment for you using that polyline. So as you can see, uh, this is the okay, so this is the end of the curve. So this is the beginning. This doesn't show a lot of information, but uh you can see it shows the changes. Uh so changes. This doesn't show the yeah, I see it does not show the beginning and um end of curves, but that's okay. That's actually the benefit of um doing this. So it gets to learn how to do certain things. If we click on the alignment. And then we right click, we right click, and then so you'll see there's a lot more options here. If you want to add labels regarding our um our curve, so our beginning of curves and all that, let's click on edit label alignment. Now, if you do that, you'll see it shows you all the existing labels that are there. So if we go to type type uh you have your minor state your stations your major and minor stations which are your changes and let's go to geometry points now you click on geometry points and you'll see it says right next to it it says geometry points label style uh perpendicular with tick and line if you click that and then once you're happy you click on add right next to it you click on add then you'll see a pop-up will show you or pop will show these. So these are geometric points. So it shows your alignment beginning, alignment end, tangent, tangent intersection. So under label, the tick means it will show 
as part of the labels, you can remove certain bits, but I'm gonna leave them all on and press OK, and it will appear in this uh, the section. Then you click on Apply. And once you're done, you can click on OK, and you'll see that those labels. So this is the midpoint of the curve, beginning of curve, end of curve, and yeah, let's check the beginning. So this is our beginning of the alignment. And then let's go this side, this is the end of the alignment. So these are ways you can actually play around with your alignment. So then let's also change this one to an alignment, this line right here. Alignment uh, from objects. We select the line, we press enter. Direction, I'm just going to press enter. And then for this one, I am going to remove the labels. So I'm not going to add any labels. And I'll leave curves as is because it is a straight line. So there are no curves needed. And then we we'll click on OK. So it just shows a standard green line. If this map is too distracting, what you can do is you can switch off. Uh, so it's your location. Aerial, and then, yeah. So with the geolocation off, uh, this is slightly more visible. So this is your horizontal alignment for that road. Um, yeah. Another thing that you can actually do if you want a more um, a more beautiful look of this alignment, you can create offset alignment. So it creates alignments on either side of the existing. So if you click on your alignment, the menus will change on the ribbon. If you go to your far right under your launch pad, you'll see it says offset alignment. You click on that. And then it gives you an offset alignment option here. So uh, alignment to offset from, uh, send it to success. Uh, offset name template. You can leave this if you want to rename it. That's fine. Uh, station range. Uh, from start to end, you can do whatever here. It's up to you. Then number of offsets on left. I prefer one on either side, so that's okay. And then incremental offset on left. So this is the distance between your left and right alignment. So. I'm just gonna I might leave it at three for now. And then once you're happy, so site you can leave at nine. Alignment style, it's offsets, label styles. I prefer you can I prefer you leave these off. And then there is your widen criteria. And add you don't need to click these. And then offset uh, profile, not needed. And then once you're happy, you can click on OK. And what this will do is you'll see it actually generates offset alignments for the one that you've just selected. So there's white lines passing through, like so. As you can see, there it is. Uh, another one, like so, and then it ends there. So, yeah, there you have it. That is your offset alignment. And yeah that is that is all for now so this is uh more or less everything you need to know about your horizontal alignment in the next episode um i am going to touch on your surface profile and your vertical alignment and hopefully at that point i can also um dabble a little bit on your cross section and then how to create a corridor based on those, which is probably one of the most fun parts of doing this whole project. So yeah, with that in mind, I hope you have found this useful and I will see you guys in episode three. Um, take care and I'll see you next time.